All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Auckland 8. Dare to be great. And you're probably making your way into the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen. This is Oreo Pulley. I'll redo that. Auckland 8, dare to be great with you. Isaac Savage from Glad Rap, the champ himself, Shay, Mr. Business Brock. We've had two eliminator fights, Shay. Yep. Now we're on to a female fight here with Lily Florence in the red and Oreo Pulley in the blue. Always love seeing these female fighters go up, Shay. They leave nothing for the road home, and this is going to be one of those fights again. Oh, 100%. I'm 100% with you there. I mean, we've already seen a female fight here tonight, and it was a good fight, as are all the female fights. You know, they give it they give it everything they got. They never leave no questions there in, in the ring after. This is a corporate women's lightweight contest scheduled for two rounds of action. It's the first fight in the red corner. She gets the ring with red trucks with white trim. Probably coming in the blue corner, she's already wearing black shorts with silver trim, weighing in 66.8 kgs. All right, Glad Rab commentating with the champ, Shea Brock. Thanks, Josh. Good to be here. So we got Lily Florence in the red. Yep. Lily in the red. Got Oriel it. in the blue. And what do you prefer, Josh? Glad Rab or Josh? Or did uh, I just give, just, uh, just give away your, your government hey. name? It doesn't matter, either or. Oh okay. my goodness, Lily coming out like a house on fire. And Lily's. She's got a point to prove. Oh, oh, yep. That's a glove touch the, the canvas, so yeah, mandatory count. Knockdown in the opening seconds from Lily Florence. Do you think she can recover? Yeah, well, it just looked like a little bit off balance. A, a lot, you know, hit her on the way. Oh, oh no. Because your confidence is completely off right now. You prepared so hard yeah. for this moment, and now... Well, yeah, just as I said that, it's going to be hard. It's going to be a hard fight from here on out. She's going to have to compose herself some way. Let's see whether Oriel can pull herself together. And now she's just eating more shots from Lily. Oh, oh and she comes back with a She's road. going forward. What a fight this is. We, you know, we always talk about these women. And Oriel is throwing deep. everything she has. Oh Jeez. my goodness, the hand speed of both women. They're just letting it all out there. Okay, Isaac Savage is back on with you guys. All right, Shay, it sounds like I've missed a little bit. What's going Dude. on here? Oh my goodness. Lily in the red? Lily in the red. She's come out like a house on fire, but you know what? Ariel isn't backing down just now. She got caught a couple times and hit the canvas, but she's coming back strong. Both girls taking a little bit too much shots for my liking. I think they're going to get a good talking to when they once they get back to their corners. You know, we talk about girls leaving nothing for the road home. Both got headgear on. We talk about the restriction of movement and vision. Doesn't seem like these girls seem to care. No, they don't. They, they both have a point to prove, and Ariel more so now that she's, you know, hit the canvas a couple times. I did say for the first one, it looked like she caught it while she was off balance, but then the second one was, was pretty clean.
And like I said, um, both these girls are going to get a good talking to um, in this next round. They're going to, you know, they're going to have to come back with a little bit of different um, strategy, I, I think. You know, well, I, keep, at least keep the gun up and um, be a little bit more strategic, or do you think that's going to go hammer and tong and throw out again? I, I think they're just going back to recharge their batteries and come out and come out swinging again. Because if you saw Lily, the way she came out, she came out very, very strong. <laughs> just as you said, they had a talking to. What, what was that talking to? Did, they, did uh, they tell them to go even more wild in the first round? Digging a little bit deeper, and you'll get her out of here, perhaps. But as far from the Lily in the rich is an absolute oh, maniac. just mixing it up. And look at the hand speed. I spoke about the hand speed in the first round. These girls got quick hands. She just throws for Oriol, right? Just comes forward. The fast four punches. That's that, that's boom, that, boom, that, that, boom. that macho speed right there, letting go 10 shots in, well, what seems like a second. Lily looks to be smiling and laughing while she's in there. She must be she's, mad. She's, she's having fun. She's enjoying herself. Oh, now she's picking her shots in. That one landed straight down the middle of the, the right cross. Right on the chin there. And hey, maybe the headgear is good at times because... I kind of just she, like it deflected off. Oh yeah, both girls are catching a lot of shots with their head, which is uh, not what we usually learn in the boxing gym. So I guess eye for an eye, they say. Well, they're certainly doing that tonight, and Lily is, you know, frantic and crazy as her style is. It's yep. um, it's equally matched at times too by Ariel. Take some, gives. Take some to give some. Big shot there, landing on the head of oh, Oriol. Was that one on the back? You see, Lily, she's she's a little bit of a uh, mix of Tej Singh coming forward and Jerome Pesquero with the uh, flurry of shots. So, interesting. She, she and, a, and, and a hint of Savan as well. Hint of Savan, both girls, I, sh I should say. Hint of Savan in there with their relentlessness and their, well, ability to take shots and... Aging bull style we were alluding to earlier. This is the great thing about the female fights. They just go so wild. That, I mean, you don't even see guys in there smiling and laughing. Oh, apart from uh, Andre Renegade Mikhailovich, uh, a couple of weeks back uh, with the tongue out and loving it and, and laughing and smiling in the ring, the, the guys don't usually uh, look like they have as much fun. Um, we, we can say he's a little crazy in his own regard. Nah, I love the character. I actually saw him today at the Auckland Amateur Champs. He was uh, supporting a few of the Peachy, Peach Boxing Crew. Uh, Jerome Pampalone fought today, among others. How did he go? He went very well. It was an exhibition, but it seemed like a world title the way they fought. Wow, there you have What is going on here? I uh, I felt Ariel... The corner thrown in the towel? It looked like news to her as well, but uh, it looks like Lily is victorious. Ladies and gentlemen, you're due to court retirement. Go better fighting in the red corner, Lily Bowens. Well, it was a retirement from the corner there. The corner had seen enough. speechless there is the, what just happened just a little bit that caught me a little bit off guard yeah. wouldn't you think well yeah but speaking of being caught off guard it almost looked like uh, when Lily put up her hand it didn't look like her opponent knew what was going on I didn't see a towel come in but uh, am I on a different angle did you see a towel fly in I, I don't know. Well, yeah, it doesn't necessarily have to be a towel you know, it's just a proverbial towel the hand okay. the gesture All right, here we are, finishing up that fight next for Dare to be Great. 
that was a great fight in itself, wasn't it, Shay? Lily just took it home. So powerful that Ariel couldn't even continue.